Beef Good Cheer, it is I, Oc the Agent Returns, welcome you back to yet another episode of Choo Choo Trials. Last time on Choo Choo Trials, we got ourselves our first egg, not to mention we actually got ourselves our first official weapon. Technically second weapon, but it's our first brand new weapon. Bug Spray, aka the Flamethrower. What is the name of this weapon? It is called the Derailer, aka the... Gatling gun, I want to say that's what it's called. This time, we're going to be taking care of this side quest right here, this one right here, and possibly this one. We won't be able to complete this one just yet. We're probably going to have to do that in the next episode, but I am going to talk to the NPC over here because I want to make sure that everyone uh, re knows uh, their dialogue and all that jazz. And maybe, just maybe, we're going to get ourselves a brand new weapon. I'm not entirely sure yet. I don't think this is going to be a mini-series as I intended, but hopefully it's 15 episodes or less. What am I doing exactly? Why am I on foot right now? Well, I like doing this mission on foot. I don't know why, but it's just how I do it. Charles is gone. Once you take down Charles, he runs away for a little bit. So he should be out of your hair for at least a few extra minutes right here. Now this lady in particular, aside from Mr. Eugene, I already know for a fact that this lady right here is a fan favorite. Why exactly? Well, you guys are about to find out with the way she talks. I made my pickles! I ate the last jar of pickles I had in my house! And there's only one jar of pickles left on the island! My secret jar of pickles! Yep, this is pretty much why she is a fan favorite. The way she talks, I think, is why. Also, her freaking clear obsession with pickles. Pickles are the love. Pickles are the life. I love pickles. They make me feel the happiness. Pickles, pickles, pickles. You and Bubble Bass would make excellent friends. Where we have to go is... <laughs> yeah, we gotta travel a very long way on foot just to clear this mission right here. Uh, no, 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 no. That, uh, my anxiety is gonna get the better of me if I don't do this. No. There we go. So much better having the freaking X in the middle. So, I, like I said, I'm trying my best to not speed run these missions. Trying my best to actually take my time doing a let's play on this game. That way you guys can actually see all the dialogue. Maybe read some of the notes. If I see a note, I will read it. I thought I saw a piece of scrap right there, but there was not a piece of scrap right there. Otherwise, yeah, I don't play this game normally. I'm not a speed runner. Not in the slightest. I mainly play this game because, well, it's something to do. It's super easy, and it's honestly got a boatload of replay capability or replayability, whatever. It's, you can play this game over and over again. And, yeah, I could say you probably would get sick of it eventually, but I'm not sick of it. And the fact that it's open world and you can pretty much do these in any particular order that you want, or you can also challenge yourself. Now, next is our next bucket of paint, purple. I remember streaming this game when it first came out, and the purple uh, paint bucket when I first got it, one of my friends, their name is Mads, she joined on in, and I named my train Mads, and I painted it purple. Pickles, 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 or pick, 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 pickles, the pickle lady. I don't get her obsession with pickles, and honestly, I don't understand. Then again, everyone's got different taste buds, so I really shouldn't be judging. Like, I, yeah, I can't judge. But I just have never liked pickles. They really aren't that good, in my personal opinion. But like I said, everyone's got different taste buds. If everyone likes, you know, has likes and dislikes, it's just me, personally, I don't like pickles in general. I remember when my mom would make me try to eat pickles growing up, and I could never eat them, and just, oh, hello. Crap. That's exactly what I was looking for, but I kind of forgot where it was, but just, oh, gross. But pickles out of the way, it feels so good to actually be able to record friggin' videos on this game and not worry about any type of lag or anything. Oh my gosh, I'm going the, I'm going the completely wrong direction. I, I lost my, friggin' lost my way, I lost my track. I was like, where the heck am I going? Because usually I see this piece of scrap right here, but I didn't see that piece of scrap right there because I'm a big old dummy. And I forgot where I was freaking going. I lost my way. Jesus, can you set me back on the right path? Jesus can. Jesus will, can and will set you back on the right path if you follow him. With that being said, what do you say we return the pickles to our dear friend here? My pickles! I thank you so very much for bringing me my pickles. You are my pickle hero. Here are some scraps as a reward for your valiant pickle questing. 
I am the pickle hero. None can say otherwise. Villains, bow before me as I am the pickle hero. Where is my train? I don't quite remember. Okay, with the pickle lady quest out of the way, I know many people are going to be happy about this, and I am titling this video and using her as a thumbnail for this video. Unfortunately, I think I saw a yellow crate a while back in the last episode when Charles was chasing us, and I don't know if I necessarily want to go back for it, but it's fine. I'm sure we'll probably cross paths with it again eventually. I'm not entirely sure, though, but our ne next destination is technically going to be right here, but I do want to go to... Actually, no, I could just talk to him after I do this side quest right here. Fortunately for us, we do not have to get out of our trap. Our... Crap. Crap! He's right there! Please be an idiot. Charles. Okay, thank goodness he's an idiot. His AI in the console versions... Oh, no. Crap. He found me. Crap. Okay. I'm just going to speed through this. No. Yes. I was hoping that we would be able to, he would leave before we hit the thing right there. Because if we would have actually done that, instead of backing up this way, hold on, it's better if I explain it in the map. So if we would have passed this right here, instead of backing up this way, our train would have got started going this way. And that's not where I wanted to go. And I did not want to have a huge cut of me just traveling around the map again. Then again, it probably would have been a pretty short trip, because it's literally just a circle, but... Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Charles, for going away. I'm gonna do this, 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 and then we're going to stop our train right here, I believe. Actually, I want it kind of just in case, because Charles actually, technically, he can't come inside of here, because he... Well, aside from the shed in the beginning of the game, Charles can't go inside of buildings. I think that's how Gavin programmed him. I'm not entirely sure on that, but this area right here, you want to go scrap hunting for. And I'm pretty sure I saw a... Yeah, oh my gosh. Dude, how lucky can I get? I, I don't even care if it's only three scrap. Even if it's just two or one, scrap is scrap. I will gladly take each and every single piece of scrap that I can find. Like, there's at least four of them right here. Not to mention the side quest we're about to do. The guy's going to give us even more scrap. Look at this. Scrap, uh, I thought there was a piece of scrap right there. I must have already collected it, but there's going to be one right here. And thankfully, none of the scrap locations have changed from the cons from the PC to the console. There's a note over here. So, before the cave-in, I pushed a square rail car into the canyon using my beautiful old mining train. I figured a rail car would be a fine place to hide my more important belongings, especially on a rural and unfinished track. I went to get something out of my railer in the canyon about a week ago, but some of Warren's men have built a campsite or base of some sort there. I don't know how to get my box safely, and I don't know how long I'll last without it. What exactly is in this box of yours, my good friend? Now, there is a very easy, easily missed collectible here. Right here is the white paint can. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to Araniram, Archivist Museum person. My apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity, if you're interested. A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in the nearby canyon, but the goons have set up a camp to protect that area, so be careful. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scraps as payment. Sounds good, my good friend Theodore. Let's go recover that box of yours. Again, it is another mission that we have to go on foot. I never knew that there was a piece of scrap right there. Then again, I never really walked that path right there. I usually just jump off the ledge right there and just start running this way. Did I hear Charles? No, I did not hear Charles. Praise the Lord, I did not hear Charles because some of these missions that require you to go on foot for long distances away from your train 
can be a little nerve-wracking. You want to be wary, not of Barry, but you want to be wary over here because, as you can see, we got ourselves a mobster. Okay, try not to let him see you. Okay. The blue box is inside of here. Oops. Quickly grab it, and then run back. I was about to say run back home. This, I'm pretty sure we, our home is nowhere on this island. What? He saw me? Oh, gosh. But yeah, you'll know when uh, I... I think they're called cultists or mobsters, whatever they're called. But you'll notice that they they'll... When they notice you, you'll hear them shout. They go from whistling, they go from humming, they go from whatever the heck they were doing to, Who's that? Or, Hey, get out of here. Or something along the lines of, You shouldn't be here. All that jazz. And I'm pretty sure that all the uh, mobsters are voiced by Mr. Gavin himself. Hey, Theodore. That's the exact box I needed. Now take these scraps and skedaddle. I will skedaddle indeed, my good friend Theodore. Now before we actually skedaddle, he's not here, is he? Praise the Lord that he's not here. What do you say we upgrade a bit? So, okay, I can only upgrade those two, but that is perfectly fine in my books. We are going to... Back up, I'm uh, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Next stop, over here. And then we're gonna go, actually, I have an idea. We're gonna clear this mission right here, and then we're gonna clear this mission, and then in the next episode, we'll do these three, and then get the second egg. Oh boy, we are completely done with this area over here. Let's see if I can actually do this. I probably can't, because I think I'm too far away. Nope, couldn't do it, but that's okay. Go up here. Hit the little switchy switchy right here. So glad this isn't nightmare mode, but I can't wait for nightmare mode to actually be added because that's going to be so much freaking fun. I mean, it's nightmare mode. Oh my gosh, it, that took me at least a solid ten hours to actually beat it, and just so many failed attempts. The fact that it's permadeath, it's just it makes sense. It's nightmare mode. He wanted it to be as hard as possible, but. We do have a few scraps lying about over here, not to mention a little note. So, excuse me. Unloading all the supplies has been an incredibly eye-opening experience here at the port. We've been working all day, every day. We are tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies up the hill to the tracks where Theodore and Eddie deliver them to the different sites we'll be mining. The sheer cost of all this infrastruction? infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success Ward's family has had in this business, I'm surprised he's choosing to take a, such a risk here. Mr. Warren. Who exactly is Mr. Warren? Well, it's obviously he's the bad guy behind this, and he's the one that seems to be letting Charles just do his own thing, just roaming around while uh, Mr. Warren is in safety. He's also putting his freaking uh, guys at risk, too, because, well, there's actually some of them that you will be finding outside, much like that guy at the canyon over there when we had to get the blue box for Theodore. Like, some of them are outside, but Charles doesn't really attack any of them. Maybe because of the mask that they're wearing. Maybe it resembles, kind of resembles what his face looks like. Who knows? But over here in this little, what you call this, a shed of sorts. Oh, by the way, if you're on foot and Charles is has sighted you, simply hide underneath one of these things and he can't get you. But here we have the gray paint bucket over here. Oh man, I'm so used to coming over to this guy when I actually have his quest completed. It's so weird to actually, as again, it's so weird to actually uh, hear the dialogue for some of these people because I don't normally listen to it. Before I actually talk to the guy over there, scrap right there, there's a piece of scrap right here, and there's a scrap over here. There's more than enough scrap scattered around this island. The, uh, you'll be able to fully upgrade your entire train and you'll be ready for the final fight. How's it going, friend? My goodness, the others actually convinced someone to come help us. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? It's a dangerous journey for sure, but you might manage with that train of yours. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Can do, my good friend. Sorry, I'm currently looking at something on my laptop. I'm pulling up a photo for our next particular side quest because um, I still have not fully memorized this side quest. What well, you guys are going to find out here in a little bit. And the reason I'm doing this guy's side quest in this next side quest is because, well, ta-da, they're literally right next to each other. Not to mention, there is something else over here that we have to get as well before we actually leave and bring back his uh, journal. 
First things first, where is my train? It is right there. Okay, it is pointing in the left direction. That is exactly where I need to go. I used to actually dread this side quest right here, but now I don't really mind it as much. Mainly because I actually have a freaking map right now. Because, um, do you guys know of Slender? And you know how in the game Slender, you have to collect eight pages? Well, to those that have played this game and to those that haven't, if you played Slender, you know exactly what I'm talking about with this next upcoming side quest. Yippee! Honestly, it's not that bad. It doesn't take me as long as it used to. It used to take me like a solid like five to ten minutes, mainly because I was just kind of roaming around the map just looking for stuff and I couldn't find anything, but there are some scraps hitting about around this house, so be sure to grab those. Is that it? I feel like there's another one right here. Yep, there. For the past seven days, there have been some strange happenings in the nearby boulder field. A week ago, I went over there to clear my mind, as I do, as I often do, and found a strange drawing pinned to the lamppost. I took down the page and burned it, because it seemed like the best way to deal with paranormal paper. The next night, I found even more drawings and burned them as well. I found exactly 16 drawings, multiply nights, hold on, multiple nights in a row, multiply nights, but now they've accompanied, they, they're accompanied by horrific ghastly noises. I don't feel safe going out there again. My best guess is the place is haunted. Maybe by our lost co-worker or co-members, maybe by something else. She's not entirely sure. How you doing? Say, you're that monster hunter. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Oh crap! I did not get to finish her dialogue. I'm sorry, I sk completely skipped through it. But basically what she says at the ending is, could you go find the remaining eight and find them for me? Yep! We are doing the eight pages mission and choo choo charles collect the eight pages from the boulder field now on my laptop right here i have a map so i know where each and every page is call me a cheater call me whatever i don't care if i didn't have this then this mission would be dang right infuriating here is the first one now there is technically a monster for us but it's not the slender man it is something completely different am i going the right way Okay, so this is where- uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, nope, nope, nope. So, we will not die if we get hit by the monster that's over here. Instead, the monster will actually teleport us. Oh. Huh? I grabbed the wrong one. Uh oh. But, um, yeah, he's a ghost of sorts. <laughs> And he will follow you the more pretty much works like the Slender Man in a way. Except he teleports you to a random location nearby, but fortunately for me, I have... I have a map, so I know exactly where the pages are, so... I don't even think I need to cut anything, it's simply just right here. And this was stated by Gavin himself in a live doing nightmare mode. He did make Charles, if you are doing this mission, Charles will travel out farther away. It's not guaranteed you could still die to Charles here, but he did make it possible to where Charles does go a bit farther out. I don't even care if I get caught. Okay, I gotta go this way. Uh, straight down here should be a page. But yes, Charles, you, you're not 100% safe but Charles is technically programmed to travel farther out if you are doing this mission right here. Uh-oh. There should be a page here. It's right there. Okay, I gotta go down here. Gotta go over here. However, there is a way to kind of cheat the this mission in a sense well not really cheat but where am i going i'm going the completely wrong way aren't i how did he get me well fortunately for us it's over here i was just wondering how the heck did he get me but yeah you are able to kind of uh get out of range of this mission and the ghost will stop following you and he will reset so that is one way to kind of cheat this oh there's the last page right there easy peasy all thanks to a good old map that I have on my laptop right here. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. But before we go, there is something that we have to get. Where is it? I don't quite remember. Uh, right here. This is important. And we are going to make our way over there. Because there just so happens to be a paint bucket over here. And it is a paint bucket which is locked behind a chest. So make sure you have those lock picks right there. Yeah, that mission I used to dread a lot. I remember when I first did that mission on live stream. I think it took me a solid 10 to 20 minutes because I could not find the pages. I can't, in my head, I can't map out, I can't map anything out. When it comes to like mazes and stuff or just like areas I haven't been to yet, I cannot, for the life of me, remember where I've been or where I haven't been. And it's just so frustrating, man. And I remember getting so frustrated in that mission i just kind of almost gave up i didn't really get so like too front i mean i got it wasn't like rage quit it was just more so all right i'm just gonna come back to this later there is a mission here in particular that i did kind of almost rage quit at but oh no so group watch schedule group one uh 12 a.m group two 8 a.m group three 6 p.m military time Warren has had us watching the boulder field for nearly a week, but we haven't seen anything particularly interesting. We see w Sasha walk through the area on occasion, and Charles occasionally makes an appearance, but Warren hasn't been interested in anything, so he won't tell us what we're looking for, just to document everything and let him know if we see anything interesting. Really? Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is I think I'm just going to speed up until we actually get back to Sasha. So, speed up time. Hey, Sasha. Thanks for bringing me those papers. Here are some scraps for your help. Awesome. All right. Crap, I hear Charles in the distance. Next up on our agenda is this house over here that has Santiago's, I think I'll tell you the same name. It's got his journal. This house in particular, I did hear Charles off in the distance, so I am a bit worried, but at the same time, I kind of don't care because technically if you die, he goes away for a little bit once you respawn, but I would very much not like to not die, try to do a zero death run because... It is very easy to do a zero death run. Nightmare mode pretty much forces you to do a zero death death run because, well, it's nightmare mode, it's permadeath. If you die, you're done. Where is my train? It's somewhere over here. But I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut until we get back to Santiago because it's literally just going to be me backing up until we get back to our destination. If I do encounter Charles, I will let you guys know that I'm fighting Charles right now. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys back in just a second. Ooh, a piece of scrap that I didn't know was right behind here. Hey, Santiago, how's it going? Thank you so much for bringing my journal. I would hope, for your own good, that you didn't peek inside. But, um, here are those scraps I promised. What exactly are you hiding, my good friend? Are you hiding some horrific murder things that you've done? Is your journal secretly a death note where you've written down so many people's names and pretty much killed people in the most horrific way? Otherwise, you just gave them a heart attack by writing their name down in the notebook. Is that the thing that we're doing right now? But we're going to end this episode off. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Actually, I'm going to upgrade my train real quick so you guys can see. Whoa! Well, we got our speed fully upgraded, and we got the speed demon trophy. So, oops, I didn't want to do that. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Next time on Choo Choo Charles, we're going to be clearing these missions right here, and then we're going to be getting ourselves our second egg and possibly doing this mission right here. So, yes, thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope to see you back in the next episode. Remember that Jesus loves you, and I love you, too. Take care and stay fresh, everyone.